Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss one of the most important topic for your upcoming prelims, and that is Buddhism. UPSC na it's kind of uh, loves this topic, and they repeatedly asked question from this section or this topic of Buddhism. And because they are asking question repeatedly, so yaha pe jo question hai wo मतलब इट्स इट कैन नॉट बी डन ओनली बाय सुपरफिशियल रीडिंग ऑफ बुद्धिज्म से एनसीईआरटी और ऑल क्योंकि वो जस्ट एक ब्रीफ आइडिया देता है बट द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस व्हिच हैव बीन आस्क्ड और व्हिच आर बीइंग आस्क्ड इट्स काइंड इट रिक्वायर्स डीप एनालिसिस डीप एनालिसिस एंड इन अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड मैनर सो दैट इज व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू थ्रू दिस सेशन ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक ऑफ बुद्धिज्म बुद्धिज्म को वी विल ऑफ कोर्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू कि विल कवर इट इन ए स्ट्रक्चर्ड मैनर तो स्ट्रक्चर्ड मैनर का मतलब कि डिफरेंट सब हेडिंग्स के अंदर कवर करेंगे द फर्स्ट हेडिंग और सब हेडिंग अंडर बुद्धिज्म इज द बैकग्राउंड इन विच बुद्धिज्म रोज कब आया और क्यों आया दैट इज व्हाट द क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच वी नीड टू सी कि व्हेन इट केम एंड व्हाई इट केम सो Uh, in your notes, you can see this: the heading of your causes. I uh, want to add some more things, so I ask you to write these things, which I am going to say for the next ten to fifteen minutes, related to the background in which Buddhism say, uh, with Buddhism came actually. So uh, the thing is, the topic which I want to take is your background. Buddhism kab aaya? When? So we know. Sixth century BC. So what was and why? So when and why may we have this uh, background? So when sixth century BC? Why? Because of the prevailing situation. What was the prevailing situation? The prevailing situation was ritualization of your religion, the Brahmanization of your society. All of that is creating a reaction from a group in the society. and what was that group so wo jo group that section of society which does not want to uh, follow those kind of rituals who tried to question ki what is the aim of these rituals if we are doing this ritual then is there something after life means death ke baad kuch hota hai kya then what is the concept of soul atma atma permanent hai or uh, transient hai that kind of questions were raised by those question, those people who questioned this whole later vedic religious practices or brahmanization of society so sabse pehle cheez why because new questions new philosophical question philosophical questions were raised questions and wo kaise related hai life se life death soul soul permanent hai ya destruction destructible hai indestructible hai they, those kind of questions were raised raised by whom raised by the ones who questioned this whole tradition whole your later vedic religious practices or brahmanization then these people these people actually while trying to find the answer to these philosophical questions left their home and they were referred as or called as renunciants jaise buddh jaise mahavir they also left their home na and find tried to find an answer to these questions and became the enlightened one to so, yahan se isi cheez se to find the answer of this new philosophical questions they became renunciants renunciants so and because of this we also say that in 6th century bc the it was the period of renunciatory tradition renunciatory tradition so please uh, remember this then one more thing ab renunciants hain so there are few specific terms used for renunciants which upsc has asked in prelims 2020 mein pucha tha if i can recall correctly 2020 uh, ya 21 mein so what are the specific terms related to renunciants renunciants pehla parivrajika 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 means a wanderer a wanderer who has left in left his home and moving from place to place a wanderer then there is another term called shramana shramana and is pe hi based hai shramanic tradition this whole period of your 6th century bc where we see the rise of buddhism jainism ajivikas and other sects they are 
regarded as shramanic tradition because of this term shramana m a n a shramana and what does it means one who strives for truth strives for t r u t h truth theek hai iske alawa ek aur term use hua hai bhikshu 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 kya hota hai one who lives on one who lives on arms by begging arms he get his food so that is what these three terms and upsc has already asked these two so please be uh, prepared for uh, these kind of questions in your upcoming prelims also theek hai ek cheez to ye ho gayi now one question must come to your mind if i am saying it was a period of renunciatory tradition to sirf gautam buddha ne to ghar nahi choda hoga there must be some other persons also yes there were and therefore we need to know we need to know the prominent or important renunciants renunciants and associated development associated philosophies theek hai so of course the first sabse pehle to gautam buddha and he gave this whole philosophy of buddhism which later on became an religion uske alawa mahavir mahavir was a contemporary of gautam buddha and he is regarded as or he is also referred as niganth nath pattu niganth nath pattu and he gave this jainism this is nothing but no one mahavir third ajit kesh kambalin ajit kesh kambalin and he gave this whole philosophy of lokayat he gave this philosophy of lokayat and lokayat mein kya matlab hai ki there is materialistic it is a materialistic philosophy materialistic philosophy which believes ki everything is in this life itself there is no life after death koi dusra rebirth koi dusri life nahi hai so this is and this is what very much similar to charvak charvak philosophy jo i later on that is also related to this only very much similar to lokya ajit kesh kambale then fourth one puran kasap puran kasap puran kasap and he gave this philosophy of akriyavad 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 and akriyavad mein kya hai ki this philosophy believes that the karma does not impact have no impact on your soul karma ki wajah se koi fal related nahi hai so that is also a thing which you must remember ajit ke uh, this purana kasyap akriyavad that it says ki uh, this karma is not impacting your soul that is thing that is one thing which you need to remember uske baad fifth you have makali ghosla and of course which sect ajivikas ajivikas he founded this sect of ajivikas and he gave this uh, philosophy of niyati vad niyati vad niyati vad means everything is predetermined everything is pre डिटरमाइंड ठीक है इसके अलावा भी देर सम पर्सन लाइक योर संजय बेल संजय बेलता संजय बेला थी पुट बी ई डबल एल ए टी एच आई पी यू डबल टी ए बेला थी पुट एंड आफ्टर दिस write down sanjay belathi putta and the last one it's pakuda kachayan pakuda k a c h c h a y a n a pakuda kachayan so please remember these seven names which i have given you why i am asking you because in upcoming prelims you can expect a question like this that who am the following are contemporary of gautam buddha or contemporary of mahavir you can expect these names 
because they were also belonging to the same period they were also belonging to the same category of person that is the renunciants clear hai so yahan se hum is cheez ko matlab this can be a probable question in your upcoming exam iske alawa what kind of question can be asked from this you can have a match the following match the following like makali ghosla niyati vad aur ajivikas that kind of match the following can be asked or say you can have your ajit kesh kamlin lokayats philosophy then purana kasyap akriyavad philosophy that kind of match the following can be asked in examination and this is one of the most prominent topic for your upcoming examination the background clear ho he buddhism was one of the philosophies which were given in your 6th century bc by the renunciants by you can say by one of the renunciants that is your uh, siddharth who became your gautam buddha theek hai yahan tak to clear hai yahan ke baad let's see let's see another aspect background ke baad kya hoga life of buddha life of buddha life of buddha mein kya kya dekhna hai life mein sabse pehla event kya hota hai if i am saying life life matlab pehle birth hoga so do we need to remember anything related to birth of buddha yes we need to remember uh and what are that aspects what are those things so just see birth se related kya kya cheeze hain life of buddha ko agar hum dekh rahe hain life of buddha so life of buddha mein the first thing is your birth birth mein place of birth kaun si hai lumbini lumbini present day nepal place of birth of buddha then there is one event or you can say there is one uh event which has been sculptured and painted on the walls of your buddhist architecture like stupas and all so what is that that is your maya's dream maya's dream this event has been pictured or sculptured or painted in the buddhist architectures so this what is this event maya is none other than the queen maya queen maya uh, the mother of your gautam buddha or siddharth so this dream in this dream it has been uh, sculptured like that a uh, elephant with a lotus in his tusk is approaching the womb of queen maya so kya kya hai elephant is approaching the womb of queen maya with a lotus in his tusk so two prominent cheeze hain elephant and lotus elephant is regarded as gautam buddha in your buddhism elephant is uh, regarded as a very uh, auspicious or very sacred animal and why because regarded as gautam buddha himself because it is said that gautam buddha who uh, according to this maya's dream it is the elephant who took as birth who took the birth as siddha so gautam buddha theek hai and because of this because of the sacred character of elephant you will find that during mauryan period elephant was one of the most prominent sculptured item and we find the remains of two prominent sculptures of elephant at two prominent places in your india one is your dholi upsc ne pucha hua hai dholi mauryan period se hai na ye in mauryan period itself i am giving you two names mauryan period dholi dholi mein you have a sculpture of elephant jahan pe you have your major rock edict major rock edict that beautiful sculpture where the it it, it appears that elephant is only uh, front portion of elephant has been made it appears that he is coming out of a cave so that kind of sculpture is there at dholi but why elephant because it's a sacred animal second place where we have this sculpture of elephant it is your kalsi 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 may be major rock edict hai kalsi is in dehradun near dehradun in uttarakhand yahan pe bhi ek major rock edict hai major rock edict of ashoka hai and yahan pe bhi ek sculpture mila hai uh, of elephant with inscription with inscription what inscription brahmi gajitame which reads brahmi gajatame gaj means elephant na gajatame and this has been interpreted as supreme elephant supreme elephant and supreme elephant kaun hoga supreme elephant to buddha hai na kaun hoga supreme elephant gautam buddha so 
दीज थिंग्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर प्रिलिम्स धौली यूपीएससी पूछ चुका है यस दे कैन इवन आस्क योर कल सी कल सी ठीक है सो इट बिकम्स अ वेरी प्रोमिनेंट वन ब्रह्मी गज तमे दैट कैन बी आस्ट इसके अलावा मायास ड्रीम से रिलेटेड एक चीज और है लोटस द सिंबल ऑफ लोटस यू नो दैट इन योर अर्लियर पीरियड और इन एवरी रिलीजन बिफोर पोस्ट मॉरियन पीरियड मीन्स टिल मॉरियन पीरियड देर वॉज नो आइडल वर्शिप वेदिज्म में भी नहीं था एंड नीदर इन बुद्धिज्म बुद्ध वॉज वर्शिप्ड थ्रू सिंबल्स ही वॉज वर्शिप्ड थ्रू सिंबल्स एंड उन सिंबल्स में एक सिंबल है वेरी प्रोमिनेंट दैट इज लोटस तो लोटस इज अंबल ऑफ बर्थ वाई इट इज सिंबल ऑफ बर्थ वाई इट इज अंबल ऑफ बर्थ वी नो इट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस माई एस ड्रीम लॉजिकल है बस याद रखना इट्स नॉट लाइक मगअप मगअप नहीं करना है सारी चीजें लॉजिकल है बस उसे उस तरीके से पढ़ो सो लोटस इज अंबल ऑफ बर्थ यहां से याद रहेगा क्लियर सो बर्थ से रिलेटेड दीज आर द इन्फॉर्मेशन विच आई वॉन्ट यू टू नो Which I want you to take note of, which I want you to remember. Next, birth के बाद क्या होता है? He was born in royal family, Sakhe clan. So both then na he was a chief of Sakhe clan. And one thing, one thing I want you to remember that he is also referred as Sakhe Muni. क्यों Sakhe Muni क्यों कहते हैं? Because he was born in Sakhe clan. ठीक है Sakhe clan के मुनि हैं इसलिए Sakhe Muni. Then Siddhat was his name given by his father and mother. And Tathagat, Tathagat is the term used for Gautam Buddh. So that also can be asked in your examination. ठीक है. So this thing also you should know. Then उसके बाद when he was living a life of a prince, it was normal, सब कुछ सही था. But one day, one day when he was walking through his kingdom, he saw four sights, or he had four sights which actually changed everything. Which actually changed everything. What are the four sights? पहला, the sight of a sick man. second the sight of an old man third the sight of a dead corpse means a dead body corpse jab in teenon ko dekha gautam buddh ne to iska ki if this is the thing which is going to happen to me also then why we are living such a materialistic life iska matlab kya hai and this led to the change in his mindset iske baad ek fourth sight aur dekha tha unhone and that is an sight of an wanderer a ascetic Astic, who is uh, not worrying, worried about anything, he just uh, lived on arms, and uh, that kind of uh, uh, that side, the fourth side, gave him hope, and he thought that his life is better than other. So these four sides actually changed everything in the life of Siddhar, and ultimately led to the second major event in the life of Siddhar, and that is second event, that is. Your event of Mahabhinishkarma. You can see this event of Mahabhinishkarma means renunciation. He left his home. He left his home to find the answers to the philosophical questions. And जब घर छोड़ा था तो किस पे छोड़ा था? He was sitting on a horse chariot. So therefore, symbol of renunciation of Mahabhinishkarma क्या होगा? Horse. Clear? so that is again a kind of match the following which can be asked in your examination so that's four sides and he left his home when he left his home the ultimate aim tha ki we need to find the answer to the philosophical question that what happens uh, what is this atma life death uh, how to attain that uh, come out of this recycle or cycle of life and death all of that so he tried different methods he tried different methods to find an answer to that and how he found those answers or what are those methods so while doing so while trying different methods he even followed your you can say yog and meditation and became your disciple of udrak ramputra and alara kalama alara kalama theek hai to during his initial days after renunciation he met these people and became the disciple of them but uh, after Following them for a certain period, he realized that here is no answer to me. Then he left them and started his journey forward to find those answers. And this led to one event. And uh, he was sitting, he was sitting in deep meditation, deep meditation under a people tree in Bodh Gaya. 
एंड जस्ट बिफोर हिज होल एनलाइटेनमेंट ना वन मेजर इवेंट हैपेंड विच इज वेरी प्रोमिनेंट फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम सो इसी जर्नी में इसी जर्नी में बिफोर स्टार्टिंग और बिफोर यू कैन से एनलाइटेनमेंट वी सी वन इवेंट दैट इज योर मर विजय इवेंट ऑफ मर विजय मर विजय वेन ही वॉज सिटिंग इन डीप मेडिटेशन मर मर का मतलब होता है डिजायर तो डिजायर पे विजय विजय मीन्स विन सो विन ओवर डिजायर दिस इवेंट हैज बीन डिपिक्टेड इन यूर अजंता केव्स अजंता केव्स एंड इसमें है क्या मर मर मीन्स डिजायर तो डिजायर इज एनिमी डिजायर इज एनिमी एंड वेन ही वॉज सिटिंग इन डीप मेडिटेशन देन द किंग ऑफ दिस डिजायर दैट इज योर मर केम विथ हिज होल आर्मी that temptations to break that meditation to break that meditation and uh, but he was not successful he was not successful so at the end he asked uh, siddharth that what is the proof of your your whole uh, uh, this uh, finance whole aspirations and all so who is the proof of all the things which you are doing then siddharth he just he was sitting in uh, mudra a mudra which is referred as bhumi sparsh mudra again this question has been asked in upsc bhumi sparsh mudra sparsh mudra isme kya hai bhumi sparsh bhumi is land earth earth sparsh means touch so when he was sitting in deep meditation when mara asked him question please give me the proof of all the things which you are doing then he just took his arm like this and showed towards earth or uh, signal toward earth and earth speak for or spoke for him that i am the witness and this mudra where he just uh, signal toward the earth that is referred as your bhumi sparsh mudra bhumi earth and touch so that is related to your mar vijay event so prelims mein kya puch sakta hai ek to bhumi sparsh mudra has already been asked but you can expect a question on your maravijay maravijay event is related to which event so related to enlightenment of buddha because after this event of maravijay he got control over the desire and yahi to enlightenment hai kyunki when we'll see the four uh, noble truths of buddhism so desire is the cause of all that miseries and all theek hai to desire pe jeetna that is that leads to the that leads to actually enlightenment so from this enlightenment an enlightenment happened when he was sitting in the under people tree in bodh gaya so that people tree or bodhi tree is the symbol of bodhi tree is the symbol of enlightenment clear hai isliye symbol hai ye yahan tak clear hai and marvaja uh, incident should be known and it is uh, depicted in your ajanta caves theek hai then enlightenment ke baad kya hua he became enlightened matlab ab in he got the answers for those philosophical question then he said then he said ki he was confused initially ki should i teach it to everyone or should i uh, should it uh, should i keep it with myself later on he uh, chose the first path that is he need to teach it to the or taught this uh, knowledge to give this knowledge to the other persons and therefore he started the journey of sermons journey of sermons his discourses and this led to the first sermon first sermon kaha hua tha first sermon at your sarnath sarnath in history it is also or historical name is ishi patan ishi patan and sarnath mein when and sermon is regarded as uh the symbol of wheel dharma chakra parivartan that is the term used for this first sermon so dharma chakra parivartan me chakra that is wheel so wheel is the symbol of your first sermon and so symbol is wheel please remember these facts which i am telling uh, which i am telling you and i am telling you these things not as only as a fact but with clear cut structure in a clear cut structured manner so it is easy to remember easy to recall these facts if you read it that this way then first sermon ke baad he will move he will move from place to place and give sermons to different people and different places 
एंड किस जगह पे जाएंगे दैट इज ऑल्सो एन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग सो यू नीड टू सी ही लिव इन मध्य देश मध्य देश मीन्स योर प्रेजेंट डे वेस्टर्न ईस्टर्न यूपी एंड बिहार दैट रीजन so he will definitely roam in this region only na he won't go to your uh, uh, deccan or say your uh, gandhar this question was asked by upsc that which of the following places were visited by gautam buddha so in that you had example mahajanpadas ka naam diya hua tha and wahan uh, pe uh, avanti and uh, your uh, gandhar was given gandhar is in present day pakistan avanti is in your uh, mp sadan mp so those regions were never visited by gautam uh, gautam buddh it was only the madhya desh madhya desh that is your eastern means uh, your uh, western U, eastern up and your bihar region where he visited so that is the case isi se related hai clear and so these are the major events related to life of buddha and of course uh, on one day he will uh have this uh, mahabhinish this you can say he will leave his body he will die and uh, mahaparinirvana the term used for this is mahaparinirvana and mahaparinirvana he had at which place kushinagar kushinagar and isi se related jab ye when he died then his ashes were distributed among all uh, with, between different monks and uh, political personalities and over that ashes we have the construction of stupas so mahaparinirvana ka symbol kya hoga stupa and stupa is therefore regarded as a sacred place in your buddhism so mahaparinirvana kushinagar and stupa is the symbol of mahaparinirvana so these are the things which are related to the life of buddha which i want you to remember yahan se question ban sakta hai theek hai and uh, if you see the map yahan pe sare events diye hue hain all the prominent events uske alawa the other things which i want you or i asked you to write down take note of that i have written on the board itself please take that also in your note and this will be most comprehensive way of covering your buddhism topic especially till your life of buddha abhi hum next lecture mein we are going to cover the topic of your teachings of buddhism then whole hinayan mahayan all of that the buddhist literature everything will be covered in your upcoming lectures thank you